Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, sorry, I usually get these out in the morning here, but as things come up, I try getting them out to you. So, quick thing, we have a client right now that just sold a, um, uh, it was like a food truck, so a vehicle, and it was it was tough to, to get documentation to show those assets in her bank account now. So the thing is, when it comes to selling a vehicle, even if it's a used car and, and you're selling it for $1,000, okay, but that's gonna be used and you know for your assets for the purchase of a home it's very very important to get um, at that point a bill of sale a receipt and, and documentation okay because if, if that money comes in let's just say you sell for a thousand dollars just as an example and let's say you put in seven hundred fifty dollars into your account it's very tough to paper trail where that money is coming from okay and it and you know if for some reason that can't get paper trail, then what has to happen is that we have to pull that money out and can't, you know, can't use it towards your assets. So the key to all this all the time is the paper trail. Paper trail, where the money's coming from, you know, where it's going. So if somebody's selling the car, get a bill of sale, um, get as much documentation as possible, and then deposit that same amount. Get a certified check, by the way. Don't get cash. Get a certified check so you can document that, make a copy of that check, and have that same exact amount go into your bank account so you can paper trail every step of the way. Very, very important because by just taking cash and just throwing it into your account, yes, I know it's your money. Yes, I know it's not drug money. I get all that. It's not us. Uh, it's, it's guidelines with Fannie and Freddie. You have to paper trail where everything comes from. So if you sell a vehicle, make sure... Uh, try try to get a bill of sale, which is simple. I mean, you can go on Google and just just Google it, and then print it off, and then basically have you sign it, have the other person sign it, present that, get a certified check, okay, get that, and have that deposited into your account. It's gonna be the best way to go about it. Trust me on this. Uh, unless you know if that doesn't happen, and and there's a couple of holes in that trail, then there's you know then at that point it starts becoming a lot more difficult to try to, you know, try to piece it together. Okay. So once again, bill of sale, certified check, show the money in your account, the exact same amount down that trail makes life a lot easier, especially if you're trying to uh, use this money for assets for down payment on a house. Okay. Hopefully this helps. If you got any questions, comment down below, shoot me a private message or text me at 423-262-9229. Have a great day, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye.